What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Green Thumb Edition. Yes, and I am out here in the front yard, the front yard of many woes, trials and tribulations. However, I am out here again, ladies and gentlemen, to give you all a, not a review, but a recap or reminder of what's going on with my front yard. Now, if you do remember, I did a seeding video where I seeded the front yard with zoysia grass um, that I picked up from Home Depot. You just saw the card because I forgot the brand name of the seeds that I did purchase. However, I am out here and it's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. It, it's it's not. It's 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 despicable. It's downright despicable. It looks just as it did before I threw the seeds down. Now, when you throw fresh seeds down, I don't know if you know it or not. However, um, you have to wait. They say wait at least like a month or two before you cut the grass. And so I've been waiting, and my grass has been growing, and it's been looking atrocious. And I can't be the yard in the neighborhood or street in this case that has the ridiculous yard. Like I can't be a part of the Green Thumb family, but have a yard that looks like I'm a part of the don't care about my yard family okay i do care about my yard to the point where i threw some seeds down it did not work so i'm just gonna have to cut it um i'm gonna have to do what i have to do to cut it and i'll just have to do what i can do which is focus on this flower bed over here like i need to spruce that up get that together because my pallet deck is look great but it doesn't have a great surrounded okay so i need to get that together so i'm gonna pull those weeds up in this video i'm gonna cut the grass in this video i'm going to edge my yard in this video i'm just gonna bring my yard back to some type of respect okay it looks like i don't care i don't live here and i might be moving out tomorrow but none of those are the case i do care i will live here tomorrow and i do care about my yard okay like look at this look at this like okay all that has to come up all those weeds have to come up um i'm gonna plant some flowers here not in this video but i will plant some flowers i'm gonna go to my local nursery pick up about 10 flowers that i can plant in this area drop some comments below of different flowers you think i could plant um which i'll check those out before i do the planting and uh, I'm gonna just spruce it up, give it some color. Um, of course, a lot of greens are popping along the green house, but I want some colors. I like color and things like that. So I'm gonna get those weeds up, get that area ready, cut this grass, cause this looks ridiculous. Um, edge it up, get it back together because this is just downright despicable. And I do want your advice. What color mulch do you think I should get? Um, the previous owner to me had red mulch in their yard and um, you know, red's a cool color, but I don't know if we're on red pop i'm thinking about brown black is the color i did black in the backyard and it did not turn out the way i actually wanted it to turn out so i probably won't do black but brown or red what is the color i know red you have to change out more frequently than brown but let me know in the comment sections below and i will do that color mulch there and then i also have this mulch here that i would need to address and put <sighs> so much to do y'all you want home ownership it's the cost you have to pay and then there's this palm tree that I had planted that was doing so well initially, but obviously it has died. I need to take this up um, and just figure something else out for this situation. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Like this video because you like what I said and you like what's to come. And go ahead and comment with any suggestions on mulch color or any kind of grass seed that you think would actually work in my yard because the patchiness, I want it to go, okay? This looks disrespectful. It looks downright disrespectful for the actual heart that I have for the yard and for green spaces in general. So let me know in the comment section below. And without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get my lawnmower out and we're gonna go ahead and cut some grass. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just like that, I am finito with the yard though. And as y'all know, I keep my clippings to put in the compost bin for my garden in the backyard for all my fellow green thumbers. Um, so this is a yard, man. This is like walkable yard. It's respectable yard. And now I just have to edge it up, trim it up, edge it up, line it up, all that good stuff and um, get to these weeds. I'm gonna do the weeds first 
uh, just so I can like feel complete about this aspect of it so I can get this flower bed nice and cleared out so that you know the different plant ideas that you all may have are the ones that I have in mind I can kind of go ahead and picture out what they will look like so I'm gonna go ahead and clear out this area <sighs> yeah let's go ahead for it subscribe if you haven't already done so woo -woo. Just like that, the weeds are gone. Boom. So they are a lot better than what they were before. You can scroll back to see the preview of what it used to look like, which was tumultuous. Uh, but now it looks representative, okay? It's not 100% to where I want it to be, but it is a whole lot clearer and I can see the area. You know what I'm saying? Like have the idea of different things that I could plant in the area. Um, you can start giving me different ideas if you have them and uh, like I said, I'll be able to work it out now I'm giving you the frontal of the house. Okay, that is the frontal and just looking forward to some plants going there some self-managed easy care for plants uh, Will be highly desired and uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put those there and now left is to edge and I really want to get this palm tree up So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, edge first and then knock this out Let that be the grand finale because I'm gonna most likely have to run the lawnmower over that which I packed everything up, so I might leave that out till next time. <laughs> Truth be told, it'll probably be left, okay? So don't be on the lookout for that being moved, but I will go ahead and edge up the yard. And then let me just show you how much waste dump and clippings that I have accumulated today. A whole trash ban full, okay? And which I'm gonna take it to the compost bin, which you do want to see because I just put some coffee grinds in my compost bin and so I'm gonna put the green on top, which ideally you do wanna have brown, then greens, then browns, then greens, just like that, layer it, and then let it rain and let it all compost together. And so I'm gonna show you what it looks like once I dump it. And then, you know, we'll go check it two weeks later and just show you how composted or compressed, in other words, things have gotten so uh be on the lookout for that and like i said before if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and click that red subscribe button turn that red subscribe button into a great subscribe button turn that subscribe button into a subscribe duh button make it a thing of the past then after you do so tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to do the same thing because you all want to be a part of the dkuj family all right so let's go ahead and edge this bad boy <laughs> and then dump these clippings <laughs> your boy is done for the day yeah boy all right yeah. So that didn't go according to plan. My edger went out on me um, along the front. My string cut and just kept breaking. I actually tried to use the string from another edger and uh, that was not working. But I was able to get one side nice and edged. Y'all see that line up? Ain't nothing like that line. After you cut the yard, psh, your yard can look as trash as mine. But if that line is right, the price is right. <laughs> Y'all know the show. Um, but it cut off right here. So I'm going to have to go and get some new line so I can get back out here and edge everything back up. But so like I said, the moment that you do want to see is me put the clippings into the compost bin. Okay. All right. So let's go on to the back. All right, so while I'm back here, I do want to bring recognition to this here tree. If you all know what type of tree this is, please let me know in the comment section below. It is growing up by my compost bin, and I don't know if I should leave it because it's going to be fruitful, pun intended, or if I should cut it down because it's just another tree that's trying to take up residency in the backyard. Um, let me know, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and dump the clippings into the compost bin so you see how tall it is it's about midway um i just threw some leaves in there so don't mind the green everything was gray and i have uh coffee grinds which you probably can't see right now darn it but anyway there are coffee grinds covering all of this compost bin so now i'm about to add the new clippings that i just clipped today to the compost bin right now and then we will be bonito All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you see where it is now. Pretty much at the top. 
and like I said I will come back out in about two weeks just to show you all where the progression has taken place um, I've done some reading and some YouTube video watching and they say that you can use the compost from your grass clippings and dirt sometimes it's a year if it's like leaves that are not like finely clipped or sometimes you can use it in three to four months so I'm gonna just give it a look pay it close attention um, it should be ready no later than January but hopefully before then I can start using this compost this mulch in my raised bed garden so hey that is the end of this here video and like I said if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe to the channel it's so much fun happening here as you can see the raised garden bed is back there the pallet deck is back there fun no fun no fun I'm doing videos on all of it so make sure you subscribe check out a couple of these videos and I will see you on the next time peace